Rene again. Uh, this year I prototyped a 90 centimeter uh, roller gun. I typically make uh, traditional guns. Uh, you've seen them in the past. I sold them under the name uh, Rene Sub. Uh, which was a play of my name, and it was inspired by Omer, who did Omer Saab. So anyway, um, my idea for the roller gun was to make a traditional roller, because um, I simply, uh, well, I wanted to start with a simple roller. I believe more in the first version of roller guns than I do in the... Uh, the the type the new type with the uh, in the invert rollers uh call me a weird guy so anyway my issue with the traditional roller was the size of the rollers these rollers uh on the traditional roller the ones i see on the market right now they're small rollers i actually have a, a few of those smaller rollers inside the house um i don't like them because uh they uh, they, they turn too much for, uh, they, they will rotate quite a bit because of the size of them and that might create friction. The other issue with the traditional uh, small roller is that um, the, the elastic ends up rubbing on the wood because of the proximity. It either rubs under the spear gun or over the spear gun um so i thought i'll 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 test it i'll try a larger roller and uh, i have to say <laughs> the results are quite conclusive uh the gun works great uh the other funny thing about this particular spear gun which is a prototype is that it cost me twenty dollars i took the rollers from these things <laughs> in the u.s they're sold for about five dollars here they retail at about seven or eight bucks so those are uh clothesline tensioners um i simply cut those things on and i put the roller on the other issue i had with some of the traditional roller is that they would using they were using ball bearings and uh, i figured that even on the small ones because i tried the small ones um the rotations are not fast enough and it's in water there's no reason to put uh ball bearings in there and if you put ball bearings you have maintenance issues so this is why i i just didn't want to and this is a quarter inch diameter hole so the pin is quite large already so it's not going to bend and it's simply a much smarter design to use simply a pin uh, this is not my definitive idea of uh, how to hold the rollers. It's a quarter inch pin. You see a quarter inch, inch pin. And the, 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 this is quite clumsy the way I did it on this. I'm going to create a hole here and I'll put a screw that will be larger so that the rollers can stay on top. Uh, I'll find another way to um, do this mess up here. I don't think it's very fancy right now. I also added... Uh, these uh, you can see them here these metal protections so that when the band ends up on the shaft it doesn't you know it doesn't press on the shaft I tried the roller without it because I thought it was more uh, fancy to not have that uh, I have to say that it doesn't work uh, it works but it, it it snaps on it you hear it and it actually uh, destroys your um, your wishbone over time so this is a gun oh and the stock of this thing was a single plank uh, a plank from a uh, it's a fence plank basically I bought at Home Depot for five dollars it's a cedar plank that I uh, laminated and I made a gun out of it. I've used the gun about a hundred times now, uh, so I know what I'm talking about. Uh, the wood doesn't seem to have uh, age all that much doing this. I have to say I put two coats of uh, epoxy on it, but still, I mean, it works. Uh, cedar works. Uh, if you're building your own guns and you don't want to deal with Iroco or Teak or Paddock, uh, why not just use cedar? It it's easy to work with, and uh, hell, it works. It's just 
It's amazing. I don't know why I never uh, used it before. So anyway, I did a few shooting tests, and this is uh, what you'll see in the, the remainder of the video. These are the traditional roller gun rollers. These are clothesline rollers. You can see they're about twice the diameter. And this is a better image of the spear gun. I make my own mechanisms. This one I made by hand. I did not use one of my um, CNC uh, cut mechanism. I wanted to make everything new and cheap on this one. Uh, the handle is Iroco, so I cheated a little bit because I had a free handle in, in the shop. But most of the gun is in cedar, as you can see. This is a gun that's been used quite a bit, and look at the state of it. It's quite good. This is the roller arrangement. If somebody wants to copy it, <laughs> it's, it's my first one. Maybe it's not the best model to copy. And, oh, I made an error at first. I put my uh, attachment here, but, I mean, the, 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 the bands are here, so this, is, this doesn't work. You need to put it on the side. So, this is the spear gun. Thank <laughs> you. 